All right, the quadruplet is the fourth big technique in rhythm bones playing. And it's an elusive technique to a lot of bones players, so I'm going to try and take some of that mystery out of it, demystify it a bit. So I'll demonstrate it real quick first. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. All momentum. Your fingers don't do any work. It's just the bouncing of the bones, the bottom ends of the bones. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. So, it's a large oval that my arm ends up moving in, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so let me, uh, let me break it down. For me, the action feels like this. It feels like I begin bones parallel to the ground. It's like I'm holding an imaginary fishing rod, and I'm casting that rod over, and at the bottom end, right out here, I do a double tap on the bones. And a double tap is a bounce that sounds like this. So if you get more than two bounces, that's okay. We're just trying to make the bones bounce. Starting close to your body, bones parallel to the ground. And at full extension, you get a double tap of the bones. I'm getting more than one bounce. That's just fine. We'll clear that up later. The bouncing is important. So from this double tap, we pull the arm towards ourselves and then quickly flip over the top to begin the next set of notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's the tap. We bring it towards and over the top. So there's my motion slowed down. I'm gonna speed it up just a bit. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's harder to do at a slow speed than a quick one for sure. But it takes a bit of effort. It takes a bit of effort to cycle, to windmill your arm through that arc. So uh, you got to work towards it a bit. So just to review, the double tap, bones in a real neutral playing position, elbows down, bones here. Move our bones parallel to the ground. So we're more or less par parallel to the ground and then double tap at the end of a full extension. From the front, it looks like this, or from the side, rather. Oops. That double tap's important for getting the momentum for the subsequent bounces of the bones. All right. So I'm going to do one more addendum video after this, which is to say I'm going to do a shuffle video, a one-hand shuffle. It's a hard technique. It's based on the duple or the duplet, but it's dividing the duple in a different way. It's not, it's not quite standard technique, and it's difficult, but I figured I'd check it out there early because I'm going to be building some rudiments on it. All right, so stick around. I hope you've enjoyed the first several videos and one more in this series, which is going to be the one-hand shuffle or the swung duple, if you prefer. All right, thanks. Cheers.